cool if I sneak around you guys and go back there? What's up, buddy? Mm. Blood on the paper. What is up, MFers? I think you're gonna like today's video. It was a pretty crazy little local tournament with uh, an ending that you're not gonna wanna miss. But before we jump in, to the video today, uh, I have a very exciting announcement. It is that time of year again. Once again, I am giving away a free trip to come fish with me. We can go take the bass cat out. We can go bank fish. We can do whatever you want, um, but we're auctioning it off for the Bass Fishing Hall of Fame. It's a great cause, just like we did last year. We set all types of records, apparently, with, with what that trip went for. Um, and I get 0% of it, 100% of the proceeds go to the Bass Fishing Hall of Fame so they can keep making that absolutely incredible and do all the great things that they do. So I'll drop a link right down below. Um, you only got a couple days. Saturday is the last day. That's when the auction is going to be ending and that's when the Hall of Fame banquet and everything is. And so you gotta get those bids in for auction to have a trip, a chance to come fish with me for a day. We can go have a damn blast. We can film a video, we can not film a video. Whatever you guys wanna do, we're gonna have a good time. Um, but speaking of video, let's hop into this tournament video. Hopping in the little weeknight derb tonight. Um, fishing solo, cause it's actually a team tournament, but Dad Master had to back out last second. He uh, didn't get a football camp quite in time but uh yeah a little evening tournament at a place that i spent a lot of time at haven't spent any time here uh recently but this is what got me into tournament fishing was fishing these little weeknight dirt it's gonna be a tall task to uh, to do well uh alone in this one but this is gonna be a totally different style of fishing than you've seen in a while and that is almost all shallow fishing less than five six feet of water square bill flipping stuff like that there's docks riprap a little bit of grass mixed in too so a lot of power fishing a lot of shallow stuff and then uh it, it is like 24 25 boats on this little 100 acre lake so it's gonna be tight um and there's gonna be it's not gonna be easy to catch fish we're gonna have to have some damn magical things happen i'm not gonna not fish derbs just because we're on the elite series this is my favorite thing to do fish these local ones that i grew up fishing these lakes and hopefully we can go out and rip some damn fish i got a couple things to tie up water is super muddy um super stained that is in this area of the lake anyway so let's uh, let's get some dock flipping and some crankbaits tied up oh also if you notice i'm like not turning my head at all just destroyed my neck in my sleep last night i went to the uh urgent care this morning rocking some flexor all so i'm feeling maybe a hair better but uh, probably gonna be throwing a crankbait a lot more than flipping because I don't know what's gonna happen with my neck when I freaking set the hook um, on a fish flipping. But <laughs> hopefully we can just catch them crank. We don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's ramp. I'm gonna cruise over here, boats one, two, and three, follow my lead. if I sneak around you guys and go back there. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Hey, keep up the good work. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, we love you. Well, thank you. We'll see what we can do. I didn't know there was a tournament. Yeah, it's just a little Wednesday nighter. There's like 24 boats though, it's pretty packed. Gillikin right across the face, like he's supposed to. That's a dandy. All right, we got fish number one. We need five, like that guy. My goodness. Zero. 
fish is a 310 310 all right let's keep rolling and he spiked his top right into my damn finger god dang i got some damn luck lately guess mm. <laughs> guess you that Oof. ouch he just flopped once bang clack me pretty slow, pretty slow man yeah, it's pretty tough. They got two. Yeah, it wasn't bad. There you go. I beat you to it, man. <laughs> Probably about the same as what you just had, ain't it? Probably. Good luck, you too, man. Sounds Vega Frog up in the sticks. It's been a damn tough bite, but we're doing something. Zero. Three twenty. Release. All right, we got two. Just freaking got that Gilligan. Look at that. That is how you want them to get that bait. Whew, we gotta hurry up. We're getting low on time, guys. We got 45 minutes left to get two more. Zeros. Three point four six. Release. Blood on the paper. All right, let's keep her rolling. I need two more bites. That one freaking swallowed the Gilligan.
Well, apparently the camera situation was done for the night, but uh, I was, I did catch one more fish, actually a solid fish, but I still only had like 11 or 12 pounds. Now at this lake in the past, I've caught 20 plus pound limits kind of regularly and the tournaments usually take 16 to 20 pounds to win. And so I go back with what, 11, 12 pounds, whatever it was with the three or four fish I ended up with, didn't even catch a limit and I was like, it's a team tournament. I saw a couple guys out there catch fish. People are catching freaking fish. And so I packed the boat up. Um, we, we have our little scale there and we write down the weights and do the cell phone recording. It's, I mean, we're not fishing for a million dollars out there, but it's, it's the best way to ensure that there's not cheating. If you show the scale with zero, you put the fish on it and then you show the release of the fish. So you don't, you know, weigh the same fish multiple times in the video, whatever. And then you turn those into the tournament director if you are in the money. Anyway, so I turn in my little sheet, the scale and everything on the director's truck. Uh, and I'm kind of starting to pull away and I, one of my buddies is there and he's like, dude, it was freaking tough. We talked to everybody out there and I was like, yeah, it was pretty tough. You know, I only had like four fish. He's like, you got four, dude, you better stick around for weigh in. That's definitely going to be in the money. And at this point, I told you about my neck situation. <laughs> Don't know what happened, pulled a muscle or something in my neck. It's still bugging me. And I was like, I'm just gonna try to get home. Um, I don't think I was in the money, whatever. So I'm on the way home and my phone starts ringing. I pick it up, it's the director. He's like, dude, where did you go? And I was like, you know, I went home, I only had four fish, 10, 11 pounds, whatever it was, 12 pounds, I don't remember. He's like, well, you won. <laughs> you got first place. And I was like, uh, what? And he's like, yeah, it was super tough. Second place team only had eight, nine pounds or something like that. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm almost home, it's a half hour, 40 minutes away or whatever. So I was gonna do it anyway if I did win any money with all these local tournaments, I've just donated back to the pot because it's awesome they let me jump in. Um, a lot of tournament series don't let people come fish if they fished you know, elite series or a tournament with over a thousand dollar entry fee uh, in the past year or whatever. This tournament actually didn't have that, none of these did that I fished in the summer, but I was like, awesome you guys let me fish, I was just trying to stay sharp, stay on my game, whatever. So I'm like, donate it back to the pot. He's like, really? I was like, yeah. So I sent him my videos from my phone and my fish or whatever. So yeah, crazy ending, crazy tournament that I was actually able to win this one with four fish, uh, three of them on that Gillikin square bill and then one of them on the frog. Um, that Gillikin's an absolute killer. Even with muddy water, stained water, like you guys are seeing, less than a foot visibility, just that green pumpkin color. We made it a long time ago. Um, I'll, I'll link it below. It's, it's absolutely it's unstoppable for me, to be honest. It's it's really good whenever you're on a shallow crankbait bite. Doesn't really matter the water color, um, but I mean we got look at, we got some of these over here. We got so many different bluegill variations that are absolutely killer. This one's called custom bluegill. Man, I've won ton of tournaments on that in the Crush 50X. We got some of these newer ones. This one's called bluegill magic. I mean, it doesn't get more realistic than that. And, and most importantly, like the action of these Crush 50s, Crush 100s absolutely freaking killer so i'll link those down below my favorite square bill rod that i was throwing those on is my Melican 7.2 medium heavy moderate literally designed it after you know fishing square bills on that body of water actually uh and then we, we did catch the one good one on that vega frog too the all black vega frog um on my 7.5 extra heavy frog rod in my Melican series but yeah Anyways, drop a comment if you want to uh, see more tournament videos like this. And of course, I'll put the link at the top of the description for that trip giveaway so you guys can go hopefully win that auction. Uh, I want an MF for it. Like sometimes it seems like there's just people that bid on it because they want to go fish with a pro or whatever. I would love if one of you guys would, uh, would win that auction because I want to spend a day on the water with one of you. That's all there is to it. All right, MF, we'll catch you soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs>